Hello, my 3D printing peeps. Greetings, Creality Sonic Pad users and Clipper users. I am here with the newly released of Cura version 5.4.0. I'm here to talk about the bug with Clipper, where printing through your Sonic Pad or other Clipper device with 5.3.x would create all kinds of bumps and zits and pimples and whatnot along the outer walls. Reverting back to Cura 5.2.2 would instantly alleviate this problem. Cura has released version 5.4, and I'm here to find out if it fixes this problem. Whether or not I can print this little ball without blobs, zits, and pimples. For all three of these prints, I am using a Creality Ender 5 Plus. Here is what this little ball looked like in 5.3.0 and 5.3.1. Reverting back to 5.2.2, this is what this exact same print looked like. I'm going to drag in the same model I used for Cura 5.3, 5.3.1, and 5.4 Beta. I have been unable to print this without zits and blobs all over the model post Cura 5.2.2. So I will slice and dice it send it to my Creality Ender 5 Plus and see what it looks like. Right off the bat, I notice it gave me a nice clean Z-seam and looks like it should provide a nice clean print. Let's send it off to the 5 Plus and see what happens. All right, here is my Ender 5 Plus and I have sent the model to it. And here it is. I'm pleased to say the zits and blobs are gone. This is a very nice clean print that looks better in person as opposed to zoomed in under harsh lighting with an Ultra HD video camera. There are no zits and blobs, the layer lines look good, and the Z-seam is exactly where it was supposed to be. I'm happy to say it does appear that Cura 5.4 is finally ready for use with Clipper and Sonic Pad. A little bit of tinkering with the profile and I think I can clean this print up to look even better.